again. Positions, everyone. Camera one into a Two second three. Camera one, track left. Open up. Watch your focus, Kids energy. Energy. You're on the air. Kids wanna know. So what's up? Well, Ricky, it's over between us. It's over between us? Yes. OK. Oh, yeah. All right. I love movies, especially when they have such great actors. And you know, making movies is as much fun as watching them or even being in them. Now, I know you're thinking it's real tough to make a movie, lots of equipment, lots of time, and stuff like that. But I found two guys about your age who are doing just that in hopes that one day they're going to have their movies on the big screen. A cold winter night, and a storm comes crashing down on you. Thunderbolts light up the sky. Could it be a terrible hurricane on the horizon? Let's do a mic check on ours. Nope. It's just Jeremy and Michael goofing around again. Actually, these two movie makers take their stuff pretty seriously. Let's take a second and find out how they got started. Action. Well, when my friend and I met, um, we were just like fooling around with the video camera, like inside the house, and we would turn it all different ways and see what shots were good. And then we started to go on movies. It, it would go from 10 minutes and then 15, and then our best one is about 35 minutes. And it's not something they just did overnight. How long have you been making movies? For about a year and a half. So you started when you were about nine? Yeah, around nine. Actually, it seems earlier than that. Really? Maybe what? when I was seven. Now, wh wh how, come you, how come you wanted to do this? Well, when I watch all these movies, I think they're really neat. And I just have this feeling inside me that I want to make movies that neat, you know. And someday, I can be a pilot and make movies and do things like that. These guys also do TV news, weather, sports, and commercials. Hi, kids. Have you ever tried a tiger milk bar? I have every day after school. They're great. Say, have mom or dad go out and buy one for you. Bye. That's Daniel, prop man, actor, and Mike's little brother. He understands what making movies is all about. Let's say you were on TV when this, when this show airs and everybody at school watches you on TV. What are they going to come up and say to you, do you think? <laughs> you're famous. <laughs> Maybe it's gone to his head just a little bit. If you're looking to be a movie maker like these guys, here's some equipment you'll need. A camera. These little cameras are popping up in homes all over the country. And Jeremy's dad hooked up a small TV to the camera to make a monitor so they can watch while they tape. Next, a microphone, so we can hear what you're saying. Jeremy has a wireless mic so he can be far away if needed. It sends a signal to the receiver attached to the camera. You need strong lights so the video doesn't come out dark and grainy. You can also make your own props. These guys used a wire, cardboard, and some smarts to make this combination sign and weather map. It's tough to remember all the things you have to say in a movie or newscast, so they have something called a teleprompter that has all the words on it. This was made from some computer paper and cardboard tubes. After that, all you need is the actors and a director. Wait, should we just put the phone down for something like that? So, because I'm going to say, remember to call five, remember? Yeah, but... But you're gonna throw the phone to me, so you Oh yeah, never mind. Them. These okay. guys are ready for anything. Michael and I are both directors, but I actually think of myself as a producer. All you really do is just tell your actors what to do, have them remember little parts of the script, and, and you film them. But you have to make sure, like, if they're gonna walk this way and you think they're walking this way, and you turn the camera like this, you know, so you have to tell them, you have to ask them, so what are you going to do on this part so I know, you know, which way to turn the camera? But of course, there are never any problems, because these guys are all really good friends. OK, you guys are having to work closely together now, you know. <laughs> Sometimes you got to work a lot of hours together. Talk do you ever start it. getting annoyed with each other? Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes, definitely. Why? What happened? Oh. Oh, uh, well. <sighs> Maybe we better skip that part. But to have a good movie, you've got to be organized. We um, plan it out first. He writes a script, Jeremy, and I um, give the OK if it's OK. And I'm the lighting and I'm the sound. And sometimes, um, cameraman. 
It looks like there's no stopping these guys, and they have advice for those of you who'd like to follow in their footsteps. First, take care of the camera so you don't <laughs> accidentally drop it, and then, you know, start out with something basic. Don't go all the way to the top, because you gotta go step by step on a ladder. You can't just go from the bottom to the top, so, you know, right now I'm probably in the middle. I don't know, I'm getting towards the top now since I'm really making it onto TV, hopefully. And, uh, but yeah, just go step by step and don't, don't rush it. And for those of you who think you're too young to do this kind of stuff. It doesn't matter what age you are. It just, it's how, how much you're willing to work. And one day, you may see your movies on the big screen, just like these guys. See, you wouldn't want to be ya. Uh... <laughs>